Want more views? I'll show you how to create a 3D animated flight path that keeps people watching. To get started, put your image in your timeline and then head on to the Fusion page. We have a high resolution image which is good, but we only need a 1080p output. As you can see on our edit page, the image is not occupying the entire screen. To fix this, go back to Fusion. Click anywhere on the grid, press Shift Space and add a background node. Select the background node and set the alpha channel to 0, then go to the image tab. From here, uncheck the auto resolution box and then type the correct dimension of 1920 by 1080. Next, disconnect the media in one, then connect the media in one output to the background, output. This will automatically create a merge node, then connect the merge output to the yellow input of the media out. Checking our edit page, the image size is now fixed. Back to the Fusion page, we will add a color corrector node. Select Media in 1, press Shift Space, then look for Color Corrector. Click the Color Corrector node, then adjust the lift and saturation to your liking. We are now ready to draw our path. While the Color Corrector node is selected, press Shift Space, then add a Paint node. Select the Paint node, then on the top controls, activate the Polyline Stroke. Click on Brazil once. Let go of the mouse button, then click once again on China. From here, use the anchor points to make the curves. If the line creates a loop, just press Ctrl Z and then adjust the anchors to get the curve you want. Once satisfied, use the control panel to the right to change the color, size, and softness. Just play with these sliders until you get that effect you want. You can always go back to the edit page to see how it looks like. We now have our main path. The next step is to draw the shadow, so we will repeat the same process. Click on the paint node, then the polyline stroke, then draw another curved line. But this time, change the color to black, then adjust the opacity to make it look like a shadow. Let us check it on the edit page. There is a problem here. The shadow is on top of the red line. To fix this, go back to the fusion page, click on the paint node, then go to modifiers, and then drag the polyline stroke 1 to the bottom. It is OK now. The shadow is now beneath the main flight path. Before we animate, we need to set up the nodes we need for the 3D effect for later. Click anywhere on the grid, then add an image plane 3D. Select that, then add a merge 3D. While the merge 3D is selected, add a renderer 3D. I'll just organize these nodes a little bit. Now disconnect the paint node from the merge, and then connect it to the green input of the image plane, 3D node. Let me move some of these again. Next, connect the square output of the renderer 3D to the square output of the merge node. This will create a merge 2. Once everything is in order, click the paint node, play the clip, and stop where you want the animation of the flight path to begin. In this case, I am choosing the 10th frame. While the playhead is at the 10th frame, and while the paint node is selected, go to the stroke controls, then create a keyframe on the right on. Max out the slider to the left, then place the playhead to where you want the animation to end. In this case, it is frame 100. Then, go back to the stroke controls and max out the right on slider to the right. DaVinci will automatically create a keyframe for this. Let's do a playback. What we have animated is the shadow, so the next step is to animate the main flight path. To do that, just make sure the paint node is still selected and that your playhead is back to frame 0. Then, on the right side, double click on polyline stroke 1. Similar to what we did earlier, move the playhead to frame 10, create a keyframe on the right on, then max the slider to the left. Now put the playhead on frame 100, then max out the slider to the right. Let us see how it goes now. Perfect. Now we will add our airplane. Click on the paint node, press Ctrl C, and then Ctrl V. Now we have a duplicate of the original paint node. Press F2 and then rename it to plane. Oops. Made a mistake. Let me correct that. While the duplicate paint node is selected, move the playhead to frame 10. Then go to the inspector panel on the modifiers tab. Since this is a duplicate, there is already a keyframe on the write-on. 
Change the end value to 0 0.001. Now move the playhead to frame 100. Then change the start value to 0 0.999. Change the spacing to 0. Then click on this merge button. Now click on this image icon and you will have options below to choose an image. Select clip, then browse your computer for the airplane. The plane is too small, so we need to adjust the size. All right, let's check this out. Fantastic. We are done with the first part. The second stuff we need to do is the three-dimensional animation of the map. Back to the Fusion page. Enable the double viewer by clicking this icon. Now click on the Merge 3D, then shift spacebar and add a camera 3D. While the camera 3D node is selected, click this left dot to show it on the left viewer. Then click and drag the blue arrow to find the map. Drag back and forth until you see the map in the right viewer. This 3D view is a tad complicated to use. As a general rule, the green arrow moves the camera up and down. The red one moves the camera left and right. The blue arrow moves the camera forward and backward. The point where these three arrows meet allows you to move the camera in a three-dimensional way. Now click on the Transform tab and enable the Use Target box. This will create more arrows that allow us to control how the map is viewed. Click on the Image Plane 3D node, then add a Bender 3D node. While the Bender 3D node is selected, click the letter X on the axis, adjust the angle to 90, then change the amount to 0.2. Click on the Image 3D node again, then adjust the subdivisions to 40. We are now ready to animate the map. Move the playhead to frame 20. Then play with all the camera controls until you find the starting position you want. This can take some time, so be patient. Once satisfied, click on the camera 3D node, then click on the Transform tab. Right click on the word Translation and select Animate Translate Group. This will automatically create a keyframe on translation X, Y, and Z. Below this panel, create a keyframe on the target X, Y, and Z. Move your playhead to frame 100, then play with the camera controls again until you are satisfied with the final position of the map. No need to click anything after this. Now, we can go back to the edit page to see how it plays out. That's nice. The final step is to add the sound. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>